hello guys welcome back to the future internet cafe if you are new here we post a new video every week we help you solve online problems or any service that involves the use of a computer my name is Catherine and I'll be your guide through this tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to apply for a temporary permit. A temporary permit allows you to travel within East Africa and it's valid for one year for Kenyan citizens without a passport. So let's get started. Go to your browser and search for ecitizen.go.ke and once the ecitizen page opens, as you can see on your screen, click on sign in. Upon clicking on sign in, it's going to ask you to input your email address or your ID number, the details that you use to open your eCitizen account and enter your password, then click on sign in. Choose where you want to receive your OTP, whether to, to be sent to your email or to your phone. The OTP is a one-time password, so choose the one you have access to. Once you receive the OTP, whether to your email or your phone number, please input it and click on next. Okay, it's going to open your account. Confirm that the details are yours because you're supposed to make application using your own eCitizen account. So make sure that the details that are appearing there are yours. Confirm that the account is yours. Scroll down to Directorate of Immigration Services, New Applications. Please note that there, is, there are two of them. There is new application and there is old visa application. So make sure you click on New applications if this page appears click on login with eCitizen again confirm that you're using your account to make the application if it's your account click on continue if it's not log out and sign in again once the state department of immigration and citizen services portal opens click on temporary permit application the first stage of a temporary permit is the category so there are two categories your application that is for adults or your child if you're applying for a minor so in this case you're doing tutorial for an adult application so choose your application and then click on next so it's going to open the adult application instructions go through them to make sure that you have everything that is required of you before you start the application Once you have gone through all the rules and instructions and you have seen the amount you are supposed to pay, which is 350 shillings, click on next. Some of the fields are going to be pre-filled. Once the category section opens, fill in your feet, uh, your height, sorry, in terms of feet and inches. The other fields that you are supposed to fill are highlighted in red, as you can see on my screen. So continue filling all your fields as required, physical address, occupation. When it comes to the next of kin, choose their national identification number or the one that applies to you. Enter their ID number or the one that applies to you. Enter their first name and then click on search. Once you click on search, it's going to auto-populate their names using the ID number that you entered. 
feel your relationship with the applicant that is the next of kin how are you related with them enter their phone number click on next The next stage is to upload your passport photo. Click on choose file to upload it. Once you are done, click on preview. Once you click on preview, it's going to show you your details as you have entered during your application. Make sure you go through them to confirm that you have entered everything correctly. Once you make sure that you have entered all the details correctly, click on complete. As we say during the beginning, it's going to charge you 350 shillings. So enter your M-Pesa number if you are paying with M-Pesa. If not M-Pesa, choose another method of payment and click on pay. Once you are done, click on complete. Once you complete your application, you can now download or print your temporary permit and you can also download or print your receipts. Congratulations, you did it. You successfully applied for a temporary permit. Make sure you print two copies of your permit and two copies of your invoice. If this video was useful to you, please give it a like. You can share with your friend or a relative. Also, if you have any questions, leave us a comment and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching and see you next time.